We got to play in for the playoffs when the Spurs take on the Pelicans this Wednesday, April the 13th. I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and don't forget about our sponsor, Caesar Sportsbook. They're going to hook all new accounts up with up to $1,100 in first bet insurance. Just check out the description of this video and click on the link or use the promo code MORNINGCZR. With me today, I've got Lee from ASA here to break it on down for us. How's it going, Lee? Good, Allie. How about yourself? I'm rocking and rolling. Excited about this game. We got Spurs at Pelicans. Pelicans are minus five and a half, and the total on this one's 226. What do you got for me? I am going to lean towards the over uh, 226 in this game. Uh, I like to bet value. If we look at their most recent meetings, which uh, we had two games in March and one in February, uh, Vegas had posted totals on those games of 237, 231, and 230. Uh, and so now we're getting a total of 226. So that's significantly lower than those numbers. So uh, we'll slide slide right in here with the value. Um, if we focus on the three most recent games, we see two of those games were lower scoring. They finished with 210 and 215 total points. Uh, the other game finished with 238, which would obviously get over this number. Um, the pace of play in those three games was fast. Uh, the Spurs attempted 95 field goals per game, which is significantly higher than the NBA average of 88. Uh, the Pelicans averaged 89 field goal attempts per game uh, in the three most recent games, which is also obviously higher than the league average. Uh, for the season, the Spurs are the fourth fastest paced team in the NBA at 100 possessions per game. The Pelicans are slower. They're 21st at 97.2 possessions. But since the All-Star break, they've played faster at 98.5. Uh, with the trade for C.J. McCollum, that was shortly before the All-Star break, the Pelicans own the ninth best offensive efficiency rating in the NBA at 1.181 uh, points per possession. Uh, for the season, the Spurs are 13th in offensive efficiency at 1.124 points per possession. Now, what neither team doesn't do well is play defense. Uh, both teams are in the bottom half of the league in defensive efficiency for the season. Uh, Spurs are 16th. The Pelicans are 20th. Both rank 20th or worse in three-point percentage defense. Um, so, again, two bad defensive teams. We do expect a little bit more up-tempo. Remember, the league average for most NBA games uh, this season has been right around 220, 221. Um, so we expect this to be a little bit higher scoring game and they should get over that 226. Beautiful. All right. So that's the way we're going to roll with it. Then I saw it opened at a 230 and a half. It's been ticking right on down. Um, I might wait for this to see if it ticks any further to take yeah. it over just because, you know, I want to get a good number on it kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, Lee, tell the people at home what you've got over at picksandparlays.net when we're talking premium plays, your best bets. Yeah, we've been on a great run in the NBA. We've won uh, nine of our last 10 NBA premium plays, seven straight over-unders in the NBA. Uh, our last seven days in all sports were 10 and 2. So uh, we will have a big play tomorrow in the NBA on uh, one of the two games. Beautiful. I love it. So find ASA over at picksandparlays.net. Select them, get hooked up, and use the promo code MLB. That's going to save y'all 20% off all of Lee and ASA's very best bets. Until then, we're going to take it over the 226 when the Spurs and the Pelicans play on Wednesday.